Hello, this is Mrs. Cooley. Today I'm going to show you how to use pictochart.com to create a great infographic that you can share and post online. Here you want to start by logging into pictochart.com. You can create a login. Um, you can use email or you can use Google or Google Drive to log in. I do not recommend using the app for the iPad, iPhone. There is very little editing possibilities on the app. Just go to your browser and sign up for PictoChart. Um, I've already logged in, so I'm going to click and show you what your home page is going to look like. Once you log into PictoChart, you will see your name up at the top. Um, you will see a variety of templates here and I'll click here and you have options for different things that you can create with Pick the Chart. You can make an infographic, you can make a presentation that has multi-pages and it functions kind of like a PowerPoint presentation. You can make a poster or banner or you can make a two-page visual report. Uh, for a demonstration I'm going to go ahead and choose infographic. After I click on the infographic, if you scroll down, you'll see a variety of templates. What's so nice about Pick the Chart is that you don't have to create your infographic from scratch. You can if you like, but you could also scroll through the many free templates and choose one that will fit your needs and then you can edit the material. So here I could click and enter uh, to click here to create a brand new one, but I think I'm just going to click on the one below and change some of the graphics. Uh, to meet what I want to do. So I'm going to click here on create and after the editor loads you will see that the infographic or the presentation is divided up into blocks and to select the block that you want to edit you will just click and then make your choices on the left. Um, here are several things that you can do to the infographic. You can add basic shapes and lines if you, that's so it has a basic drawing feature. You can add a series of icons, and the icons are grouped together by topic, so you could add a category or put a search here and choose the graphic you'd like and add it to your report. You can also click on photos. There are lots of stock photos that are available with the Picta chart. You could, they're also grouped by category, or you could go to uploads and then upload pictures to use in your infographic. You have a total of 40 uh, megabytes of picture space to import your own graphics, so you can do that. Uh, another thing that you can choose to for your data is the photo frame. These are kind of neat little things. They will go around photos and they're very whimsical and you can drop them into your infographic uh, to highlight information and they are all editable. If you click on any of them, uh, you can change the text that's there and personalize that. Um, other things that you can add here, if you like, uh, you can, if you prefer just a blank background, uh, some are textured and some are just different colors, you can choose here. You can also change the opacity, make it uh, more or less transparent. You can click here to add text boxes. So title, subtitle, uh, and once you choose here, you can also edit the size of the font. You can also choose something called a text frame, and text frames are little icons that you can add and also personalize and change the text once you've placed them. So here, let's say that we are going to edit the first block. Um, one, oh, one thing I wanted to show you before I continue, I'm so sorry was under tools, some more things that you can do. If you have a link from a YouTube video or Vimeo, you can paste it here and add it to your, your, um, your infographic. You can also select a box and choose maps. You can enter maps. Most of them are continental maps. And then you can add your data and the data will be populated into your chart. Uh, you can also um, add a chart or manipulate a chart and we'll do that uh, below. So to start working in your first block you can click here and you will notice that you can highlight text up here you can change your font style and change the size you can change the color as well that's here and you can align and do different things. Um, if you make a mistake you can always hit the undo button to return. You can 
delete text boxes by highlighting and clicking on the delete feature. You could add them also by clicking in text and adding here. If you want to add an additional block, you would click the plus sign. And to delete a block, you would click the, um, the X here as well. I can scroll down here. There is a chart that has been inserted. To manipulate the chart, I can just click it, and it will bring me to the chart style. What I can do here is I can change the name of my chart. If you scroll through here, you can see all the different ways that your data can be expressed. There's a wide variety of chart styles, so you just choose the one that's going to best populate your data. Um, you can also um, choose to label an X and Y axis. Axis, excuse me. And as you change your data, you will see the changes reflected in your graph. Um, you can also import data from dynamic data from a Google spreadsheet. If you have your data in Google spreadsheet, you can bring that. Or you could also import your data from a, uh, an Excel spreadsheet that you might have um, in a file somewhere. So that is just some ways that you can manipulate and chart different things. And then below here, all these little boxes, again, are editable. You can change and add icons and change the mask, which is the opacity. Um, you can edit here anything. You can click and add in different pictures. Uh, what you can also do is add in your video, make any kind of manipulations that you want. Everything is editable. Um, it saves automatically every time you make a change. Um, but feel free to also continue to add the saved button when you're ready. One thing you will also need to do is you will need to be able to, you need to title your graph before you publish it. When you think you are done, you can click the preview to get an idea what it's going to look like. Okay. You can also download any of your Picta charts. Um, but they will download it as an image file. I recommend that you choose the JPEG um, as the image file and then you can download it and open it up with your picture browser. When you're ready, you can click on the publish icon and everybody will be able to see it. You'll also be able to share. I'm not going to publish it now because I want to, I, I don't, this is not a finished product. And then you can also share. You can see you can share it for, with uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Pinterest. You could also make a picto card, which is kind of neat, and you just type in a message here and the infographic will be sent via email to your friend or teacher or however. Uh, but I want to go back to my um, inbox and be able to show you uh, an example that I have saved, that I've created that uses this template. So I'm going to go to my saved Picta charts, and I've chose I did one called Community College, just basic information about going to community college. It's on I made it public right now. It's on the web. So so for you to view it, we'll click here, and you can see I have the options here to share it additionally. And what's really nice is anything that you create in Picta chart, you can use in presentation mode to do so. Just click on the present box there. You'll be able to expand it to fit, and any and all sections, all blocks of your pick the chart will um, change like PowerPoint. So here you can flip it and talk about the chart. And then here I've embedded a video, which I'll attempt to play. Hopefully it won't cut me off. But uh, that's all you need to know about pick the chart. It's pretty exciting. I like to use it. It's very dynamic and clean and modern looking and a little more exciting than a PowerPoint. I think your teachers will enjoy a change. So if you have any questions, please come and see me in room 205 or ask your teacher to um, invite me to class. I'll be happy to work with you in a group or one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, thank you again for listening and have a good night.